Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and uh, one of my subscribers asked about the growth rate on my pawpaw by the beginning of uh, July, and also the development rate on the embryo fruits I've got. So I thought we'd have a look first at my large, my largest pawpaw, pawpaw sorry, this is Acemina triloba, which is actually the only one I've, uh, sorry, one or two I've got planted in ground, and this is just a seedling one. Now, the, it's only each year growing probably about three or four inches a year now. It's getting quite well established now, and I would say that most of the new shoots are around six inches, so about 15 centimetres, so or a little bit less than 15 centimetres. If you look at them there, <coughs> and there, you can see that they've put on about six inches. And if we look inside here, this one has only set three fruit, but it's the first year it's flowered, and it's not, certainly not a self-fertile variety, and it's not a named variety. So I'm really pleased to see any fruits at all. And obviously I'm hoping these might make it to maturity, as it's a nice large plant. <clears throat> I suppose those fruits are about one inch long by about half inch wide now. Um, but they're not as well developed as on the Prima, which is my named cultivar. So we're going to just have a walk over and see if I can find my way to the, have a look at those. But you can see the size of the plant there. It's a, it's a very nice looking plant. It's obviously in a location that suits it. Um, and so far it's doing very well. So we'll have a look over at my... Prima. <clears throat> now the Prima is is over at the back there, and has a lot less, uh, lot less lead, lost a lot less leaves and new growth on it. Probably because I'm growing it in a container and the roots are very restricted, which isn't ideal for um, for development. If I can walk round the back here, <clears throat> which I should be able to do without falling over and making a fool of myself. <clears throat> see if I can get around here. Okay, so we've got round now to the Prima. Now, so far the fruits that it's gone it look as if they're going to hold. Now they're kind of about the size of a, of a ground nut or peanut that hasn't been peeled. You can see there's some more here. Now the, these branches have become tangled on each other, which is a bit unfortunate. See if I can pull them apart without actually knocking the fruits off. Yeah, just managed to do that because that was that wouldn't help. So most of these are about the slightly larger than on the other plant, I would say. There's some more up there I'd say there's probably about eight fruits on the plant at the moment I'll show you the size pot it's in if I can it's doing okay I'll probably have to take it out of the pot next winter and see if it's uh, how overgrown it is but I just thought people might be interested to see the development. It's the 1st of July when I filmed this. I'm not sure what day I'll put it out. But you can at least see that they're about peanut sized, the fruit. Now if they stay on, they should get to the size of eggs by September. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was a quick update on the speed of development of my poor, poor fruits that has set. This variety is Prima. Thanks for watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Obviously, uh, share the video with anyone else you think might be interested. Subscribe to my channel. And remember to click on the bell if you would like to get updates as I post them for this plant. So I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.